In this video, we're going to talk about modifying properties of your imported After Effects layers and connecting data controllers to the designs. I've imported a motion graphics template, so when we take a look in the Live Data tab of the Layer Properties panel, there are several types of variables that can be modified. For more information on that subject, please refer to my videos on choosing between After Effects projects and motion graphics templates and preparing them for import in Titler Live. I can set new values for the graphics simply by making changes here in the Live Data tab. So let's change the title and our text color. Additionally, we can specify which variables are allowed to update while the graphic is on air. That is controlled by this little broadcast lock icon. And you can see by default, text and images are allowed to update in live graphics, while colors are not. It's important to note that render performance improves as fewer variables are allowed to update live. So you really only want to enable the properties that you plan on changing while the graphic is on air. Additionally, Properties that can be enabled to update live are limited to text, images, colors, and checkbox controls. So the position value can only be changed before I send the layer on air. For this graphic, I'm only concerned about changing out the main image while it's live, so I'll disable the other fields. And now I'll play the layer. I can toggle this Show All Variables option to only show the properties that can update live. That way I can focus on the data that I need to update. I'll go ahead and set a new image, which will render and then update in the live graphic. If I want to preview the new data before sending it on air, I can switch to manual update mode. Then when I choose a new image, it will be loaded in preview. Once I'm ready to update it, I can press the button on the right to send the new image within out animations or alternatively, I can use the button on the left to hard cut to the new image. Next, I will connect a data controller to the composition. Only properties that are allowed to update live can be connected to a data controller. I'll, cl I'll click Select Data Source for the layer. I'm going to choose a spreadsheet that I've prepared. It contains links to the various post-it images I want to use. Once the spreadsheet is selected, I'll click Link Data in the Preview panel, and I'll be presented with a list of data fields from the controller. To keep things simple, this spreadsheet only has a single image field. I can click the data field and drag it to the design element I want to link it to. Alternatively, I can right-click on the data label, and I'll be shown a list of variables in the graphic that I can choose from. Once I've linked the image field, the images from the spreadsheet will begin to render, and once they're complete, I can drive the live data in the composition from my data controller. I hope this video helped you understand the basics of linking data controllers to your imported After Effects layers. Please see the rest of this tutorial series for more tips and tricks on working with After Effects compositions.